To swap over the extruder assembly in your up plus print head, the first thing you need is disconnect the extruder assembly by pulling on the white connection here to remove it from the block there. It's gentle on the cable, take it out there. We need to undo these two screws here and here to access inside the print head there. And the whole extruder block will just come away. Let's pull out. And that comes away there. What we then need to do is undo these two screws here and here, taking out the extruder assembly. And that all falls off there. What you need to be careful of is keeping this little black plate. Now on the black plate there are two sides to it. You can see there one side is a little cutout. So it has the correct way to go in. And take away the fault extruder assembly and get the new one we want to put in. What we need to do is make sure when we line up the block there, this plate will sit in there like so, with a cutout on the top. So now a little black section here, a locking block, that needs to be the cutout at the top to fit in there like so. And the extruder assembly just fits in here, like that there, and it'll lock into place. What we'll need to do is keep pressure on the outside over here to hold it in place and we're putting it back onto the motor. This can be a little bit tricky, uh, but with a bit of patience you'll get there. And just line that up there, and pop the screw in, and do it right back up. Now with the two screws here, they need to be evenly uh, tight. You want to tighten one all the way in first, and then have the other one be very loose. So once it's in place there, the lock block should be firmly in place. You can see just in there how it is flush with the heat sink, which is what we want. Let's crank those down. This needs to be fairly tight to avoid the lock block coming away from the heat sink when we go to extrude. So it be quite firmly tightened up there. Once that's done, take the white housing, slide it back over the heatsink, push it into place, connect up the extruder assembly, like so, and tighten up the two screws which we took off in the first place. Easy as that. So now ready to go put it back on the printer, reset the height, and keep on printing.